from shooting the trucks. If they shoot the trucks, you're screwed, pretty much. That's how it's going to work. I'm just going to keep defending this crazy retarded attack by the computer. I'm going to keep defending this attack, and hopefully by the time I get here, I need to keep microing these units. Just keep microing them. Do not let them attack anything. I'm actually getting pushed on really hard right now. This is not the best uh, best thing going on right now for me. So I'm going to keep microing these units, making sure they don't shoot anything. Please don't shoot the truck. Please don't shoot the truck. Please don't shoot the truck. I don't know if they can actually see me. I'm still covered up, so right now I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm just trying to stop this attack from going on. Uh, they haven't shot the truck yet, so now I can blitz in. Now I'm going for this HQ. Now the opponent, I don't think the opponent even sees me still. I think the trucks haven't exposed me yet, so I'm still okay here. I'm still in a good spot. The opponent doesn't see me coming, but now I can start taking their stuff. So now this is when you want to do it. Now you can take their stuff, and now you can pretty much backdoor them uh, at will. So you're going to run in here, you're going to start taking their stuff. You're going to start pushing in here, uh, pretty much building as much as you can, trying to stop this from going on. I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this HQ, I'm going to push in here, I'm going to take this down, I'm going to push back here, so I'm going to be able to take their base uh, down, this is not the best thing going on for me right now, I'm actually getting pushed back pretty hard right here, so I'm going to push in here, I'm going to take all their stuff, pretty much, now I can have a, now I have my own barracks, or my own airplane base as well, so I'm going to actually take that base. I'm going to start building myself some fighter bombers since I'm in some big, big trouble here. Uh, so I'm going to keep pushing here. I, my base is okay. I'm still safe. I'm not that too bad of a, of a spot right now. I can still push, but I'm going to take this base right now, and it's going to be pretty much GG. I don't see myself getting killed anytime soon. Even if they do destroy my base, I have theirs, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to take that, take that. I got my planes being researched in a second here, and I've stopped their attack, I've, I've countered it, and I'm going to get the win, I'm going to take all their stuff, their stuff is now mine, and uh, as you can see, a, a very aggressive player will burn them to the ground with this attack, now they're all exposed, and I have everything, now I can just push at will on them, and take everything down, I'm going to hide in these woods, now I can build some air, stuff like that, you can do tons of things to stop them. All I lost was a couple of units. Not a big deal. I only lost some stuff, but now they're all exposed. They're all pretty much screwed. They can't really do anything to stop any of this. I have all this base covered. There's no air coming. As soon as this uh, fighter bomber is done, I'll be able to bomb them at will, win this game. It'll be GG. I don't even know why that. Oh, I press my hockey. That's why. But as you can see, it's a very effective strategy. It works very well. Um, you just got to sit. I don't even know why these... How these guys are being oh it's because of this truck but yeah so i build air just i'll go hide for a bit make sure i don't get killed i keep pushing on this so as you can see I'm sorry, I'm just trying to focus here. So as you can see, very, very uh, good strategy. It works very well. Uh, you can do a ton of damage with it. It's a very, very viable strategy in a 1v1. As you can see, I completely stomp the, the computer with it. Uh, it. It hurts aggressive players really badly because of the fact that they, they'll be pushing on you the whole game and they won't be paying attention to what's going on behind them. And then you can really just walk in and take everything they have. As you can see, I took everything the computer had. And really, the trucks don't even see you. As you can see, the trucks, I was is, the micro of the units is the most important of all because if the trucks don't, the trucks don't expose you until you blow them up. As you can see, that my base, uh, my units weren't being exposed until I actually, uh, until I actually um, attacked with them. As you can see, that nothing was being exposed until I actually pushed. So then all you need to do really is just. Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to focus here. I'm trying to blow these tanks up. All you need to do here is really just uh, focus in and just keep micro, 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 microing the the hockey units. As you can see, my hockey, I got all these units here. I only lost about seven of them. Just keep microing, keep pushing with that micro, and uh, they won't even know you're there until it's too late. And by the time you they know you're there, you're they're done because you'll take their HQ, you'll take their airfield, you'll take any building they have. Um, you can wait a bit. I only attacked because of the fact that they were attacking, and they, by the time they got to my base, I went did the push because I knew they couldn't back up their. Because once they attacked, I knew that they um, 
would couldn't retreat they were sort of all in so i knew uh that i could didn't have to blitz as much but if you know the opponent's sort of sitting back a bit more uh, you can build a couple more you want you're gonna end up building I wouldn't have built any of the units at my base I would have built all my units at my at my attack and then wait for that uh, that blitz ruse to come and then blitz that middle at their base and by the time those Italian um, those heavy Italian infantry get there everything will be gone because those heavy infantry Italians are so fast and with blitz they're even faster they're so fast with blitz they run so quickly um, and uh, they can really get to a target very fast and especially if you have like 20 or 30 of them I had 20 of them plus two recons so I could see anything in the woods so my attack would even work against anything in the woods even if they had infantry in the woods the infantry would have stomped them it would have stomped any flak anything in the wood it would have been dead and uh, I would have been able to make more I wouldn't have made so many units at my base it would have made even more units at my attack and it's really imperative you only make infantry especially if you they have those if they have those um if they have those depots then you can make only make infantry because the, the infantry won't shoot the the depot trucks and the depot trucks won't expose you as you can see i was still blinking so that means i wasn't uh, exposed yet by the computer so as long as you don't make tanks the tanks will auto fire on anything so that's the that's why it's imperative to only make infantry because infantry won't shoot in, while they're moving they'll just keep moving because they're in trucks they're not actually walking so as you can see very very good strategy works very very well and you can do a lot of damage uh, against uh, against a human with this as you can see I beat the medium AI I know it's only medium AI but it's the only w real way to show how um, how like a unit to unit composition would work because the medium AI won't make more units than the, the money it has so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoy this just another way to use your ruse cards effectively and uh, to expose your enemy so that's pretty much it guys got a little bit dicey there at the end when I was getting attacked on by like a hundred strong grenadiers but I held it off and I uh, did my job so there you go that's pretty much it if you guys like this uh, just subscribe to everybody and uh, hope you enjoyed it so that's pretty much it see you guys next time